Hi everyone, my name's Joel. I'm the director of NAMTRANS and I'm also working the Economic Development Department at the North Country Chamber of Commerce. As part of our ongoing video series of how a bus is built right here in the North Country, we're on the job today at AQ Wiring Systems New York. Whether a diesel, a hybrid, or an electric bus, just like your car, buses need a lot of electricity to power just about everything on board, from the PA system to the radio. Here at AQ Wiring Systems, they build electrical harnesses. Well, what's a harness? That's a great question. A harness is thousands of wires and hundreds of connectors all on a single board or plate that can be installed one time and then each wire can be connected afterwards. It makes the process a whole lot easier and far more simple. We're gonna be building one today. Let's go take a look. So the entire process at AQ starts with the raw wire. So we're going to be unloading some of this and then we're going to be taking it through the process of building the electrical harness. So raw wire in the bucket, let's take it off the truck. Bring it over here. There we go. So after we unload the raw wire, we're gonna pick and pack some of the parts that are gonna be required for the electrical harness. Everything in this bag right here is gonna be built into a harness that'll ultimately end up in the bus. So we unloaded some of the raw wire from the barrels. They're brought out onto the floor. And then we're brought over here. They're cut to the specific length that's needed. They're actually cut. And then what comes out at the end is something that's cut, sealed, terminated where we add a terminal to the end and that terminal allows these wires to be connected. How do they know where they go? Each wire is labeled for exact location. Look at that, that's pretty cool. <laughs> so now we're gonna do some destructive testing. What we're gonna do is actually called a pull test. What we're testing is to make sure that the terminal here is snug enough on the wire, so that way if it gets a little yank, it's not gonna pull off too easily. Let's do it. And there's your number. So we started with raw wire, we cut, we crimp, we added the terminals, we've labeled them, they've gone through the whole process of getting heat wrap, and now we're at the final end before they're installed into the harness assembly, or the electrical assembly. So what we have here are some sub-assemblies. So they're not all going to be built on the table, some of them are built here ahead of time. Here's an example of a sub-assembly. You see the terminals on the back end, and each wire is inserted into this assembly ahead of time. They're placed on these walls, and then we're ready to build the final electrical assembly. So now we've reached the final assembly phase where we are taking the wires that we've developed earlier in the day and assembling them into the harness itself. As you can see here, a harness has hundreds of wires that are plugged into the different components, and the board here tells them exactly how they need to be assembled. So at the beginning of the day, we picked an assembly kit, right? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this assembly kit and we're gonna marry it to the wires. So we have all of our wire assemblies here. How do we know how to do that? 
We have the instructions. We have the board. These nails on the board show us the exact location of where these wires are going to connect. And then we'll build our electrical assembly. Now we're all finished. We're going to bring this assembly over. Let's see if I can lift this up. harness is going to be tested. All of these connectors here are plugged in to make sure that they're working. As you can see, this one's good. There's also quality inspectors who are going to come over and actually physically or with their eyes look over each harness as well. These are the electrical harnesses and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be loading these up on the truck. They're going to be going over to Nova Bus. We're going to be seeing those a little later today.